Hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing with the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. This won't be a first impression because I did play with it last night just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw on my Instagram story that these two shades actually shattered. I do have them be pressed in here and everything is all good and dandy. Here is what this palette looks like. The only ColourPop palette I've ever purchased has been my single shadows from them and also like the color pop and kathleen lights i've never tried like one of these nine pan palettes every time i open it this shade kind of crumbles everywhere those two shades are very soft i kind of honestly expected there to be a shattered shade nicole renee she got hers in and hers was shattered that probably means that the shadows are more soft and the box was like super well bubble wrapped but I think what they need to do, what was in the Morphe palettes that I felt like was very smart, is they actually have bubble wrap like around the palette and then the box. If it hits something, then the bubble wrap in the inside helps it. But like if the bubble wrap is just on the outside and the thing like hits the bubble wrap, I don't know. So I've already prepped my lids with my Tarte Shape Shape Concealer. I'm just trying to use it up. I'm going to start with Kittenfish. And these shadows are like super powdery. I don't really remember my other ColourPop shadows being this powdery. And of course I love this one because this is like my nice lilac shade. This is a little more pinky lilac. I really wanted to do just like a simple duochrome look and call it super easy wearable duochrome makeup and use this palette and do like this color with either the center shade or with Mr. Sandman. Now I'm going to go into fan fiction just a little bit on the outer corner. Kittenfish probably has the least fallout. It's like the most tightly packed. So like I'm like digging into it and there's barely any fallout. I'm trying to use as many shades as I can because Jkiss always like does looks with palettes and she tries to use every color and that just like inspires. What I'm gonna do is use this one on the lid, this one in the inner corner, maybe this one as well on the lid because I don't really know where I'm gonna put that. Do this one and this one as like an ombre liner. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these two. Maybe just as like deep inner shades. For the lid, Mr. Sandman, they have so so much kickback in the pan, so much fallout on your eyes. I'm gonna take this NYX glitter primer and take it like this and just tap it all over the lid. Then I'm gonna go with Mr. Sandman, just tap a little in the center and then blend it out. I'm going to go in with Do or Doe on the very inner part and then kind of blend it. I really never use these e.l.f. eye tapes, but I used it last night and it was so much easier. Those look pretty even. Before I do anything on that outer comb, I'm going to take a little bit of sleeper and deepen this outer portion because I feel like it looks very weird. Just taking a little bit and sleeping it, not really doing too much because we don't want to get that glitter everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Bare Minimum and spray it. And then take the shade Chicle and once again spray it. I don't think they're really uneven at all. That worked really well. I need to start using that tape a lot more. I've used literally every single shade except for Earth Shine and Pretty Cruel, but I'm not going to use Pretty Cruel, but I'll use Earth Shine in the end of corner. I'm going to prime with the Elf Natural Glow Lotion because my skin is literally about to fall off. I don't really feel like this wing is thinner and higher. My eyes literally look so green. I'm loving this. I feel like my eyes kind of look really weird and old and crinkly just because I have so much shimmer on my eyes. So I'm going to go with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fine, which is so much more moisturizing than Tarte Shape Tape. I'm also going to be trying like the Tiptoe Lipstick today because Nicole Renee has raved about that lipstick for so long. I finally got it. So I'm going to blend out my creases. That them real well. Now I'm going to go to the lower lash line and I'm actually going to zoom in like I never zoom in. I'm going to start out with Kittenfish on my e.l.f. detail crease brush. I'm going to take the angled brush I used for the wing, go in with Chiclet, tap it off so there's no fallout, and then just connect it. And I'm going to take the pink. I'm going to take the crease brush and just blend. And I'm going to take Dew or Doe on the inner corner. I'm going to take some Mr. Sandman from the very center. And then on the inner corner, I'm going to put that Earth Shine shade. First, I'm going to put this NYX Glitter Primer. Blend it into the other ones. After I have like the most potent pigment on the inner corner, I'm going to put it up there and blend it into the lower lash line. This very inner corner, I'm going to have to add something white. So I'm going to take some white. 
For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. light matte bronzer. Wow, that's warm. But it's probably because this makeup look is so cool tone. Maybe it's just weird because it's adding color to my face. <laughs> I think this looks fine. Wow, I actually have life to my face now. I definitely want like a more purpley tone blush. So actually, I'm just gonna dip into Kitten Fish. Mix it with Fan Fiction. Mm -hmm. Really love it out. Definitely was a little more pink than I expected, but whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna add a little bit of NYX HD Blush and Taupe. I feel like I don't have any cool toneness. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. It would really glow with this look. I'm used to my other highlighter that's kind of like rough that I can like dip in a bunch, but this one I dipped in a little too much, but it's fine. I'm gonna go down the nose, chin, teeth, and spark. And then I'm gonna do my brows, mascara. So my face, I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Match. So sorry if I have like a little bit of low energy. It's because I've been sitting here for 30 minutes trying to do my mascara. And my eyes kept on messing up. I actually forgot to talk about the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascaras. I got Purple Pros, the red one, and then the blue one. I'm gonna use the Purple Pros one on my lower lash. I just completely forgot about it. Here's what the eyes look like with the lower lashes now for the lips i'm just gonna put this on by itself she said that it was a dupe for House of colors a mauve story and she said that it was very cool tone but on me this is pretty warm tone she's also a lot tanner than me i'm gonna take a little bit of this maybelline not lipstick and brown blush i'm sorry this isn't gonna work y'all haven't seen this but i Literally just tried like eight different lip colors. For my lips, I'm just gonna tap on ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Man Child. Actually, I'm gonna, I just need to, oh my god. This is the finished look I just gave up. So, my thoughts on the ColourPop. It's my pleasure palette. I obviously am gonna try it a lot more. This time I was really just trying to use like all the shades. The only shade in the palette that I didn't use today is the shade Pretty Cruel, which is kind of like a weird shade. All the other ones follow the theme of like the super purpley look. It's like a mauve undertoned brown, so it's not like super out of place, but there's like all these gold glitters in it, which I really don't understand why you make like a matte shade with gold glitter in it, but it's really not that bad just because if you use one of these shimmery shades there's going to be glitter everywhere anyways i like the shadows there is a lot of fallout but they blend well they still give good pigment and like i like the eye look that turned out i just feel like i used too many shimmer shadows like it's making my eyes look so green i don't know it's a purple palette but like it's not really too much purple like it's a mix of purples and pinks and like there's a duochrome and then there's this like burgundy shade so it's really not just purples i'm glad that i didn't purchase the pink palette because i really wanted to but i feel like this is like a nice mix between pinks and purples it will probably be a palette that i reach for quite a bit just because i haven't tried like a small palette in a while because like the last two palettes that i've tried new have been the jaclyn hill morphe palette and then the james charles morphe palette which are both huge palettes so it's nice to have like a change of one condensed color one condensed palette just nine shades i feel like you can still get wearable looks out of this if you want to see that just let me know i'll totally do it because i really want to do like a wearable duochrome makeup look sorry that i had a little low energy earlier i feel like i feel better now so now i'm like talking again which is good let me know if you picked up the color prop it's my pleasure palette or if you're going to do you like purple just tell me anything yeah, let me know. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!